How's it going everyone? My name's John and I make videos about calisthenics here on YouTube. Today we're going to be talking about the Nordic Curl and what are, in my opinion, the best progressions, whether you're a beginner, intermediate, or an advanced trainee. Let's get into it. So let me start off this video by saying that the Nordic Curl is no easy thing to learn. I have been dabbling on and off with it for about three years, and a lot of people consider it one of the hardest leg movements in calisthenics and just in general uh, for your hamstrings. So let that be an indicator of how fast you should be expecting progress with this. But I wanted to give you some progressions that have helped me along the way when I was a beginner, intermediate, and now that I'm coming up on advanced or actually being able to do this movement. So let me first off define what I would consider a beginner. And that's someone that hasn't had much experience with leg training or just found out about the Nordic curl and just wants to be able to do it, but can't get anywhere close to being able to do it. So that's what this first progression is going to be for. And my first progression for beginners, I would suggest doing a band assisted partial rep of the Nordic curls. That is two ways to make any exercise easier using a resistance band to help you out and doing partials, but it's because this exercise is so difficult. The resistance band as it stretches out is actually starting to assist you more. And that's really important because the difficulty curve of the Nordic curl, it actually gets much, much harder as you get your chest lower to the ground and much easier as you stand more upright. So that resistance band's actually making it more of a constant difficulty and you should have a much easier time actually doing the movement. The partial rep is also gonna allow you not to fatigue yourself too much and keep you from getting stuck at the bottom and having to hinge at your hips just to be able to get back up, which you're basically just doing a negative at that point. And if you're a complete beginner at something, I would never suggest doing negatives. It's just gonna be way too intense and you're gonna get way too sore too quickly. It's not gonna be a good time. Now, I would highly suggest doing this progression as a beginner over something like a hip hinged Nordic curl or whatever this is called. I'll show a video on the screen. I really don't think that translates really well to being able to do Nordics. You're gonna feel it a little bit in different muscles. You're not getting that full stretch that you would in a regular Nordic. And I think that's really important to train if your goal is to do a full Nordic. Now you can set up resistance bands with a pull-up bar above you. If you don't have this set up, maybe you can have a friend or you can have a chair or something next to you that you can use your hands to assist yourself on. Uh, you just want something to assist you and give you more of a constant difficulty on the way up and on the way down. As for reps and sets go, I would look into that six to eight reps, uh, maybe four sets once, maybe twice a week if you're feeling up to it. Nordics can be really, really taxing on the hamstrings and it can be really difficult to train more than once a week if you have no experience with it. So I wouldn't suggest going whole hog right off the bat. Now for the intermediates. Those are gonna be people with some leg experience. Maybe you deadlifted, you've done some squats, you have tried doing Nordics and you can get a little bit of the way down, but then you fall right on your face, but you're feeling it. I would suggest doing push-up assisted Nordics or hand assisted, whatever you wanna call these. You're basically lowering down as much as you can with some control letting yourself fall down and catching with your hands, and then doing an explosive push-up to get yourself back up and trying to finish out that top half of the rep with just your legs. So I really like this progression because it lets you feel what the actual Nordic starts to feel like in that top half where it is a little bit easier, and then you get some assistance in the bottom half where it is much more difficult. Also, it starts to train you to be really explosive with your hamstring curling strength. Um, when you're on your way up, you have to push explosively and then kick in your hamstrings really quickly. As far as reps and sets go, I think a solid five by five would be great for this. Again, try to do it once a week and then maybe twice a week if you're starting to feel comfortable. 
I've had plenty of times where I try and do some Nordics and I am completely burnt out for five or six days because it's really, really difficult and it's super easy to do a little bit too much and just be too sore. So I would suggest, again, taking it easy moving into this. All right, and for my advanced trainees out there or people that are getting close to having a full Nordic, my favorite progression would be to do a slightly hip hinge Nordic curl rather than doing negatives. So just bending at the hip a little bit to make all the leverages a little bit easier on you. You can also do slightly partial reps, maybe not getting all the way to the ground. And this is gonna really start to stretch out your hamstrings and you'll really feel the difficulty of the full Nordic. I was starting to do these over the past few months and just testing out how my Nordic is and I was able to actually progress to being able to do the full Nordic by doing these. For how much volume of these you should be doing, I would start to take it down maybe a little bit less than the five by five. You can aim for that as a goal, but these can be really difficult. So trying to get a lot of reps in can be uh, a little bit too strenuous. So those are kind of my favorite progressions as you're moving along and the difficulty level and getting closer to being able to do the full Nordic. Those are all progressions that I have used in the past and I have found helpful. So I hope some of those recommendations helped you out in your training. Make sure to give this video a like if I helped you out. Hit the subscribe button to see the next video. And until next time, good luck on your training. Peace.